السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Welcome to this program of the beautiful names of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. We are going to take first al-fatah, which is coming from the Arabic root word fatah. So the meaning would be the opener, the reliever, and even another meaning which is to judge. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the opener of everything. A person who is in worries, who is going to take away his worries? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A person who is surrounded with so many difficulties and problems, who can relieve him from those problems? None except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what about the mercy of Allah? The mercy of Allah which takes the form of the rain, which takes the form of sustenance, the food, the victory. All these things come only from Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Fatir, مَا يَفْتَحِ اللَّهُ لِلنَّاسِ مِنْ رَحْمَةٍ فَلَا مُمْسِكَ لَهُ وَمَا يُمْسِكْ فَلَا مُرْسِلَ لَهُ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens for his people a gate of mercy, there is no one to withhold it. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala withholds, then there is no one to carry it or to let it continue after him. وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ And he is dominant, he is wise. That is the belief of a believer that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the source of the mercy. And even the gate of mercy can't be opened except with the permission of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said that his rahmah or his mercy has uh, engulfed everything. وَرَحْمَتِي وَسِعَتْ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ That is his general mercy. What I want uh, to, to conclude here, that because he is the opener of the mercy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not confine his mercy to just the believers, but it is general. Though there is a specific mercy, that is the mercy of the guidance, the mercy of the assistance, that, of course, is given to the believers. As Allah SWT said, إِنَّ رَحْمَةَ اللَّهِ قَرِيبٌ مِّنَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Indeed, the mercy of Allah is near to those people who do ihsan. As we know that, ihsan is one of the character which is given to this ummah, which is required from this ummah. In the hadith of uh, Jibra'il alayhi salam, when he came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and asked him about Iman, about Islam. And then, in the end, he asked him about Ihsan. And the Prophet ﷺ uh, replied, أَن تَعْبُدَ اللَّهَ كَأَنَّكَ تَرَاهُ فَإِن لَمْ تَكُنْ تَرَاهُ فَهُوَ يَرَاكُ That you worship Allah as if you see Him. Yani you must be so attentive, so attentive in your prayer, in your worship, in your devotion, as if Allah SWT is in front of you, before you. And if you can't develop such type of attitude or thinking, then at least think that He sees you, He looks upon you. These are the people who are Al-Muhsineen, those who do a thing in the best form, in uh, the best way. When they pray, their prayer is the best. The prayer which is full of khushu' قَدْ أَفْلَاهَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ So their prayer is the prayer of khushu, concentration. Once they enter into their prayer, then they just forget about their surrounding. They are all committed to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they don't think about the worldly thing. Anyhow, that is uh, another subject which is al-ihsan. Here we are concerned about al-fatah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the opener of each and everything. 
he opens for the pe- for some people he opens the gates of knowledge the g- gates of uh, al ma'rifa recognition of the things he opens for someone else the gates of wealth of money and for someone else the gates of health and uh, a sound health and a good life and to some he gives children sons daughters all in the hands of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then he is the one who got uh, the keys of the unseen because the word key in arabic it is coming from the same root word fataha the key is miftah and the plural is mafatih and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in surah al-an'am wa indahu mafatihul ghaib la ya'lamuha illa hu wa ya'lamu ma fil barri wal bahr wa ma tasqutu min waraqatin illa ya'lamuha ولا حبة في ظلمات الأرض ولا رطب ولا يابس إلا في كتاب مبين He got all the keys of unseen لا يعلمها إلا هو No one knows them except him And he knows what is in the land Hidden in the land What is in the ocean Hidden under the ocean وما تسقط من ورقة إلا يعلمها even when a leaf falls on the ground from the tree Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows it and even a grain which is hidden in the darkness of the earth Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows about it anything whether it is wet or dry إلا في كتاب مبين Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already recorded it that is in the record with him which is a very very clear record so as long as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala got all uh, the keys of the unseen the keys of every gate then why are you going to knock at someone else door no go to the gates of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knock at them what i mean that invoke the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you are in difficulty just ask him and he is going to remove your difficulty if you are looking for rest and sustenance then ask allah and allah is going to help you if you are surrounded with so many enemies who is going to relieve you take the means i am not saying that you don't take the means but still have trust in allah ask allah and allah is going to expel your enemies from you so as long as he got the keys of the unseen you should always stick to him turn back to him now there is another meaning of uh, al fath from which the word al fatah comes and that is to give the victory so the word uh, istaftaha would means to ask for victory to ask to ask for help and al fath will mean the victory itself as it is said in surah al anfal in tastaftahu faqad jaakum al fath if you are asking for uh, the victory the victory has come to you yani allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you ask the victory allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to to give you the victory now the word fath why it is uh, you know why this word al fath is given because fataha means to open a person who is uh, a fatih who is a conqueror as if he is opening the gate to enter into the town normally uh, the in the olden days there used to be a boundary wall around each and every town so once a person or uh, a conqueror is coming to conquer that town he has to open the gates so once he is victorious the gates are open for him allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said this is why he has said about the treaty of al hudaybiyah that it was a very clear victory inna fatahna laka fathan mubina indeed we have uh, opened for you a very clear victory now sulh al hudaybiyah to some people uh, they said that it was just a, a treaty only 
Makkah was not conquered at all. So how could it be declared as Fatham Mubina, a very clear victory? Here is the meaning that because of Sulh al Hudabiyah, the the conquest of Makkah or the way to the conquest of Makkah was paved. The treaty said that uh, the Muslims and the non-believers of Makkah they have uh, a treaty for ten years, and uh, during the ten years there would be no fighting, nobody is going to attack uh, the other party, and there were other conditions as well, and uh, then they were allowed to do Umrah because they have come in the year 6 of Hijra they have come to perform Umrah and then according to treaty they were allowed they were allowed to come for Umrah the following year and so Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has done Umrah uh, in the year 7th and just one year later in the 8th year of Hijra because the people of Makkah are one of their allies uh, did not uh, fulfill the conditions of the treaty and they have attacked one of the allies of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam this is why the treaty was broken and Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was justified to come to Makkah and Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has uh, uh, conquered for him Makkah there was not much fighting the people of Makkah they just surrendered and this is how the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam entered into Makkah in the eighth year of Hijra. So that was the Fath, that was the victory. And uh, Sulh al Hudaybiyah or the Treaty of al Hudaybiyah became a gate to the conquest of Makkah. This is why it is known to be Fathan Mubina. And there is another meaning of al Fatah which means to judge, as we have said in the beginning. And that is the saying of uh, Nabi Shu'aib alayhi salam when he said ala Allah tawakkalna rabbana iftah baynana wa bayna qawmina bil haqq wa anta khayru al fatihin oh Allah we trust in you oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala judge among us and among our people between us and and the people with the truth with the haqq wa anta khayru al fatihin and you are the best of the judges. And with this we come to the end of uh, the explanation of this attribute. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.